Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how is everything there? Good evening, there? teacher. Good evening. Good to see you. Hope everything is all right there. And hopefully, we're not going to have any troubles with the internet tonight. <laughs> it is not raining over here. I don't know that, but over here, it is, it is everything's all right. How's everything there? Good? I hope everything's all right. Hope you are having a great time and that you are willing to learn something new tonight. Let me see, Ana Graciela says. Okay, Ana Graciela, I got your message. Present teacher. Okay, and uh, I'm sorry to know about, about the situation. Hopefully, uh, things are going to get better soon. Okay. So, we check list attendance. That's the first thing we need to do. Later, uh, we're going to start with the uh, homework. Okay, so we're ready about the story that you saw yesterday and the exercise in, in the in the video activity. Hope you could finish it. And now that you are able to tell me what was the activity, I mean, what was the video all about? Okay, remember about the homework. Remember about the homework assignment. How we check list attendance. Give me just one second. Mm. Yesterday actually was really nice because we, we were practicing a lot of verbs. No, yes, tonight is September. Yeah, today is Tuesday, September the 19th. All right, let's have a Graciela. See you, teacher. Okay, Graciela, so here. Thank you. Okay, have Anderson, Jeremy. Present teacher. Good. Armando, Antonio. Armando, Blanca Stephanie, present teacher, Carlos Aníbal, Carlos is not here yet, Cecia, Cecia, here, okay, here, Cecia is so here, Diana Patricia, I'm here, teacher, good, Elmer Alexander, present teacher, good, Elsa Noelia, Present. Gloria Menjivar. Present teacher. Okay, Ingrid. Present teacher. Jaime Ivan. I am here, teacher. Okay, Karina Jamilet. 
Hello, Karina. Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Okay, Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Maria Imelda. I am here, teacher. You are there, good. Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Good, Marisol. Present, teacher. You are there, Nelson Rutilio. Present, teacher. Great, Rommel. Present, teacher. Excellent, Ronald Alexander. Ronald, Ronald, are you there? Wilfredo Alberto. Oh. I hear. And that's it, right? So, well, that was like the first time that I checked list 18. And today is Tuesday, September the 19th. Well, we're going to start. Welcome. Uh, well, tell me about the story of the video. The video story. Ingrid Esmeralda says present. Ingrid, give me a second. Ingrid Esmeralda. Okay, yes. Ingrid Esmeralda. Very good. You are over here. Don't worry. Okay, so tell me about the, the video you saw yesterday. What is the video all about? What is the video, the video, the video activity all about? What was what is the name of the movie actually? Profe, en ese, en ese video está muy bonito, ¿verdad? Pero será que solo a mí me pasó que yo no, no me corre el video. Tengo que Are... estarle dando play a cada momento para que avance. Ah, yeah, that's right. That's that is part of the activity, Ana. Y luego pide que se escriba ahí un verbo. Exactly. Pasado. ¿verdad? Exactly. Le, escribía, le escribía el verbo, pero igual no, no corría. Tenía que estarle dando ahí play para que... Y así he logrado ver una buena parte, pero no... En sí no comprendí que, que se iba... O sea, solo entiendo que había que cambiarle el verbo ahí al pasado. ¿verdad? De exactly. lo que había sucedido. Exactly, Ana. Ok, y so... Quizás but... así está diseñado para que vaya así... Bien pausado, porque yes. no. Yes. Uh, no sé si alguna vez ya habían hecho una actividad como esa, pero esas actividades están justamente diseñadas para que para ejercitar, ¿verdad? El tema que se está estudiando en el caso era el pasado simple. Ok. Pasado simple y este. Pues espero que, que hayan comprendido. Eh, más o menos cómo, cómo hacer la actividad, ¿verdad? Pero recuerden que yo les dije, hey, nos van a contar de qué se trata el video. Ok, so, who's ready for that? What did you see in the video? Wilfredo, no. Yeah, I, I, I can see that you want to you wanna participate. Sí, el, el video era sobre unas escenas de la película, de los Cruz. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, but what did you learn in English? Sí, eh, pude... Eh, bueno, como dijo la compañera, era de, de, de poner los verbos en pasado. Uh -huh. ah, eh, y, y darle siguiente, ¿verdad? Y así iba, iban apareciendo para ir rellenando las preguntas. Exactly. Uh -huh. Well, actually, that's what I want you wanted you to do, right? To complete and to use the simple past tense in order to complete the statements. Okay. Now, do you remember about one of them? Do you remember some expressions from the video? Yes, no. I am. Um, uh, aha. Imelda. I remember. I remember uh, about, uh, about uh, three verbs in present and past. 
for example, I, uh, for example, run and pass, uh, uh, run, jump, press and pass, uh, uh, jump it, and feel, press and pass, uh, curl. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so somebody, yeah, thank you. That is something, something that you got from the video. Now, anybody else? Yes, no, Elsa? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. What did you get from the video? Um, and in the movie, the cruise, there was a, a scene where the boy ran to the take a, the egg. As he approached the egg, he sudden, uh, suddenly fell on the ground. Mm -hmm. However, the woman, full of determination, jumped on, on the bear that was trying to steal the, the, the egg. All right. And they have a plan all along. The girl, curious as ever, asked, "Why? What did the woman hold in their hands?" It turned out she was holding an egg. A precious find they were. Thankfully, the eggs didn't break. And in another part of the movie, the grandmother, known for for her speed. Run after small animals. During the adventure, the adventure they face challenges and obstacles. In one instance, the group had uh, decided to was to the decided was the fastest among them, and it was important moment for their journey. Um, at some point, the group encountered a monster that jumped in height and caused them to panic. They had to jump as well, but not, but not just for fun. They jumped, jumped high to, to stop the approaching animal. The they effort were not in vain, but the, the animal didn't stop. The speed, the challenges, they persisted. Did they catch the? Did you, the? Es una pregunta. Did they catch the egg in the end? Yes, they did. They, they did. And it make it mark it a significant turning point in their adventure. Adven their adventure. Just that. Their adventure. Excellent info. Adventure. Excellent info, Elsa. Wow, that was fantastic, okay? So if you haven't finished, okay, you can do it, okay? You can do it and then you can share the information later, okay? But now we're gonna start with the activities we're in church of working to, tonight because we have we still have something to, to learn or to have some review on, okay? Yesterday, as I told you, right? We're talking about statements with irregular verbs in the past. Okay, past states, past statements, statements, right? Uh, with regular irregular verbs in the past. Tonight we're gonna talk a little about just no questions. Okay, we're gonna have some exercises, and then we're going to see if we can uh, complete some exercises about it. So actually, today is Tuesday, and you know tomorrow we will continue with. Uh, with this uh, topic, you know, simple past is not a, a thing or it's not a topic that we're gonna see it only once in, 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 a, in an hour and it will be over. No, I mean, these things or this topic is very important and we need to go over it over and over again. Now we're gonna see how to form simple past tense with just no question or just no question with simple past tense. I think sounds better, listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer simple past 
yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Yes, no questions, right? Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense, have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so actually, actually, this, this information is information that we were discussing yesterday, right? And you told me, or you provided some exercises yesterday, okay, about it. So, simple past tense with just no question. We are going to start always with the auxiliary. 
What is the auxiliary we used in the past? Did. did. That's why we have did over here, did over here, did over here, did over here. It's because it's the only, it's the only um, auxiliary that we're going to use in the past, right? And after did, you have subject and then you have the verb and the verb is going to be in the base form. The same happens over here. Did you play? Did Erika like? Did Erika and her sister go? Etc. Right? So, but did, 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 oh, time nor to have yes, no question. And they are called yes, no question because you have only two options. You say yes, or you say, or you say no. Okay. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't, etc. So I think this is very simple, simple information about, about these things. Okay. So later the guy presents some more, some more info. Okay which is everything related to simple past tense. So this is a piece of cake, right? So we have been working on over it, uh, not only uh, tonight, Fisher, but tell perdón, me. Pero siempre que se forme una oración y se use did, el verbo va a ir en presente. Y, o, in the, porque yeah. está el did, que es el auxiliar para el pasado. Entonces... Esa duda tengo. Si estoy usando did, el verbo va a ir en presente o también lo escribimos en pasado. No. So, for example, you have this one here. Give me a second, please. I have this. Okay, so the, the pattern, el patrón que nos está dando acá arriba, es siempre comenzar con did. Did, de ahí un sujeto. Did you... De ahí el verbo dice en presente, ¿ok? Lo vamos a decir en presente o en forma base. Did you go to the cinema? Did you go to the cinema? That's, that's, that's simple, right? Did you go to the cinema? Okay, so your question is the following. Every single time you use did, siempre que use did, el verbo va a ir en su forma base, sí. Siempre. Ya sea okay. que did vaya, perdón, ya sea que en la oración sea una pregunta o sea una oración simple nada más, pero si se está usando did, el verbo siempre iría en presente. Yeah, but listen, puede ser en negativo también, que uh -huh. vamos a usar did. I didn't go to the cinema. Okay, I didn't go to the cinema. Ahí está en negativo. Okay, si usted sí. se fija, siempre, siempre, el, siempre que tenemos acá, did, en este caso está contractado negativo, bien, didn't go. Sí. Ahora, cuando tenemos oraciones, oraciones uh, positivas, entonces ahí cambia la historia. Decimos, Como, ayer fuimos a la playa. Ah, ok. Porque estamos contando, ayer yeah. fuimos a la playa. Yesterday. Yesterday we went to the beach. Ok. We went to the beach. We didn't go to the lake. No fuimos al lago. We went to the beach, all right? Aquí, si usted se fija, no tenemos ni un, ni un auxiliar. No hay Entonces, auxiliar. Para directo, directo eh, al pasado. Mm -hmm. Let me see, there's somebody in the chat. Eh, Carla says, did Erika and Nelson go to the church last Sunday? Yes, Erika, that's a good example. It is a good example. Now, no more questions? 
Now there there is no. another there, there is another type of question. First, we'll. Hay otro tipo de preguntas con, que son las double H. Creo que más adelantito las vamos a tocar. Como who or what? Let's leave with what. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Okay, so this is the verb and this is the auxiliary. What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? Okay. Now, but later, I think we're gonna we're gonna go over some exercises about it. Now, no more questions, people. No more questions. No questions. No questions. Okay, just no, no question. question. Let's see. No. Let's have some some uh, sentences here. Now, what is the first sentence here? Watch the television. Did you last night? What is the question? Did you watch television last night? Okay. Did you, Did you watch, watch television last night? And the question mark, right? Now, how yeah. dinner you did last night? Yeah. Do you, you have dinner last night? Do you have dinner last night? Last night. Last night. Do you have dinner last night? Hello? Uh, did you pass the list? Yes, I did. Ah, uh, sorry. Es que entré tarde porque viene tarde de trabajar. Pero don't ya llevo rato de estar aquí. Okay, Armando, don't worry. I will check it later. Remember, I checked list of attendance twice. Now, go to work yesterday, you did. Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work, you work. work yesterday? Did you go to work? Did you yesterday? Go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Okay, and the last one, go to the movies they did on Wednesday. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? On Wednesday? Okay, let us check it. The first one says, did you watch TV? Did you watch television last night? Good. Did you have dinner? Did you have dinner last night? Good. Number, oh, the, the third one, did you go to work yesterday? Good. And the last one, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Excellent. So everything's all right. Everything's all right so far. Okay, let's see. I have something here. Okay, that you need a you need a complete here, right? We're gonna close this. It says change each sentence into a just no question in the past. For example, John had red hair. It becomes the John have red hair. Now, what about the first one here? A raccoon ate Sally's lunch. What is the question? What is the question? You have the sentence over here. Now, but what is the question? Is a raccoon ate Sally's lunch? No. No, no, no. Can you type it? Type it in the chat, please. Digítalo en el chat, por favor. Yo lo voy a copiar de ahí y lo vamos a ir comparando con las respuestas. Quiero ver la respuesta en el chat.
Ok. Anybody in the chat? ¿Alguien puede digitarlo en el chat? Tienen la oración en positivo, pero nos están pidiendo que hagamos la pregunta con esa información. Acá está el ejemplo, miren. John had gray hair. Did John have gray hair? Let me see. Ronald, okay, Ronald. Here we go. Voy a copiar el de Ronald. Did a raccoon eat Sally's lunch? And the question mark. No se les olvide el, el signo de interrogación. Let's see. Show answer. Did a raccoon eat Sally's lunch? Very good. Excellent. Now, what about the second one? He played hockey every day. He played hockey every day. Did he play hockey every day? Can you type it, please, in the chat? Type it in the chat, please. All right, there is somebody who included, did he play hockey? That's Armando, Armando included one. Did, remember, capital letter. Did he play hockey every day? Let us see the answer. Did he play hockey every day? Excellent, very good. Next one. They talked about their homework. Question. Okay, now I got three of them. Did they talk about their homework? Good, excellent, Nelson. Let's see, Nelson and Wilfredo. Good. Okay, this is Wilfredo's. Did they talk about their homework? Show answer. Excellent, good. Number four. Aha, uh -huh. they were happy together. They were happy together. What's the question there? I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. Then I have uh, Wilfredo included one. Did they be happy? No. Were they happy together? Look at Rommel. Rommel's answer. So something that you need to be clear about it is the following. Cuando tengan el verbo be, okay, acá ya no van a usar el did. Miren. They were. Were they happy together? Oops, 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 oops. It's correct, right? Were they happy together? Okay, but why? Because we're using the verb to be. Estamos usando el verbo be en pasado. Es con el único que cambia. Okay, now let's see this one. The soup was hot. The soup was hot. Uh 
Uh -huh. The soup what hot? What's hot? Do me the favor to include the answer in the chat, please. Okay, there is somebody who included the answer. That was Imelda. Very good, Imelda. The soup, was the soup hot? hot? Let me see. Was the soup hot? Show answer. Was the soup hot? So see, that's the way it is, right? Let me see. I think we are over with all these exercises. Very good. So just no questions. Let me see. Was the soup excellent, Elsa? That's the way it is. Okay, I have another one over here. Perfect. Hello. I have a question. I have one question. Tell me about that question, please. Um, cuando eh, dijo eh, que estaba where, ya no se usaba did. Exactly. Porque ya está el auxiliar, pero, pero where, ¿qué significa? Uh, that oh. is the word be. Let me see. I will I will explain to you here with, with an example here. Eh... Estuviste ayer en la clase, para que veamos, where, sí. yeah, no, this is only an example, it's solo un ejemplo, where you, in a class, were you in the class, okay, what is that, esa es una, una pregunta de sí o no, entonces alguien pudiera decir, yes I was, sí estuve, yes, I was. Okay, si no estuvo, no, I wasn't. Yes or why or no, it was. That's a, a just no question, right? Pero eso sucede solo con el verbo be. Okay, si yo lo cambio, por ejemplo, al verbo like, que está aquí, like. Man. En pasado, mire, did you like? Did you like candy? Now, yes, right? Because... Porque es otro verbo aparte de, del be. Solo con el be sucede esto. Que no vamos a usar el, el auxiliar did. ¿Ok? Ok, sí. Thank ok, ok. So, well. Did you eat breakfast this morning? No, that's a question. Hey, did you eat breakfast this morning? How do you answer to that one? Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hey, did it rain last night? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Did yeah. you go on a trip last weekend? Did, did you go? Yes, huh? You say, yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So, you, yes, you did. Did they attend the I'm university kidding. together? Did, did the store give you a discount? Etc. right? So, when you have, did you? Then you answer, for example, you have two options, right? Did you go to the concert? ¿Fuiste al concierto? Pueden comenzar diciendo, yes, coma. Tienen dos opciones. Yes, coma. Y de ahí, I went to the concert. Sí, fui al concierto. O, yes, I did. Simple like that. Or simply, yes. Notice that in the long answer, we use the verb. But in the short answer, we just use the past tense of the, of the verb did. Yes, I did. This is study art in the school. No, he didn't start art at school. No, he didn't study art at school. No, he did not, or no, he didn't. Okay, so then we have some, some examples, some more examples here. 
So more examples, as you see, did it snow last night? Did it work? Did the presentation go well? Did they pay back their debt? Did they change their, their minds, etc. right? So then I have uh, two conversations over here. Hey, did you see this, this snow storm last night? No, I didn't. I was asleep. Oh, man, it was crazy. It snowed for over six hours. There is so much snow in the yard, and I don't think I can go to work. My work is already canceled. Call your work and find out. That's conversation number one. Conversation number two, do you have your finger? Yes, I have my finger. I play basketball uh, with my friends yesterday and I had it. Did you go to the hospital? No, I didn't. It wasn't that bad. I just put some tape on it. It will be okay. It, it'll be okay. So that's a, another question, right? Now, well, actually, in this part, it says practice your speaking English and learn this important English grammar point by, by fishing the questions below and then practice making your own question. It is the best way to learn the English and improve your English fluency fast. Tip, say the question aloud. This will help you to practice speaking English and improve your pronunciation and fluency. Now, which question will be over here? Did you, when you were young? Uh-huh. What would be a good question with that expression? No idea? Hello, hello. Are you there? No idea over here. Did you remember? Hey, did you remember? Did you remember when you were young? Te recordaste cuando era joven? Did you yesterday? Did you yesterday? Okay, complete these questions, please. Completemos estas preguntas, okay? Try to get as many questions in order to have a conversation, okay? Because we're gonna practice a little bit.
All right, did you finish? What did you get in this one? Did you? Did you play soccer? Hey, did you play soccer when you were here? Yeah, huh? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Number two, did you yesterday? Did, did you yesterday? I... Huh? Did you do yesterday? Did you do what? Did you did you do the homework yesterday? Okay, that would be one. Did you co-worker? Did your co-worker what? Did you co-work to work? Did your um, co-worker? To work. A work. Did your co-worker work? Did you work here? Uh -huh. young. Did you did you did your family? Play in the city. Okay, play in the city. Did your country in the past? Uh huh. Did your country? Win the tournament in the past, for example. Right. Uh, yeah. Did your in hometown? Uh huh. Did your hometown? Um. Did your hometown? Well, do me the favor to investigate. Hey, did the oh. girl, huh? Okay, did your oh. hometown have? Have. Have? Changes. Uh, yeah. Have changes over the, the uh, 100 years ago. Excellent. Did the girl? Did the girl what? Did the girl? Study. Hey, did this? Did the girl study? Did the boy? Study. Did the boy? Did the boy work? Did the boy work? Did it? Did it? <laughs> Did it work well? I mean, if we are talking about a laptop or a cell phone or a whatever, right? You say, hey, did it work well? And that's it, right? Did it. So uh, I think it's been enough. Let me see, I have uh, simple pass. Uh, yes, no question. No, the check. Now, uh, this is going to be very useful for, for tomorrow, okay? Summer activities. In the summer activities part, we're going to see some vocabulary that's going to be very useful for tomorrow. I will play so that you get familiarized and, and uh, in order for you to complete uh, the homework assignment that I will uh, let you know in a minute. Listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. 
I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Uh, this is quite important, go, okay? Have, go hiking, eat, play, see, take. Go for example, swimming. You can go hiking. You can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so we got like some expressions that we're gonna use in a minute. Like, uh, a class, fun, hiking, a, a movie, new people, or friends, a picnic, a pictures, a play, a swimming, tennis, and volleyball. Now, do me the favor to complete this part. Completemos esta parte como va, por ejemplo, go hiking, go swimming. Have que? Have fun. Have, have what? Have a picnic, etc. Meet, meet what? Meet new people. Completenlo, por favor. Mientras yo paso la lista. <coughs> Voy a pasar la lista. Hey, eso está en la página. Let me see. Oh, I cannot see the page here. Give me a sec. I will stop. Oops. I'll stop sharing this, but I will. I will look for. No, it will be like in a different way. Bueno, voy a pasar lista. Y mientras paso la lista, ustedes preparan una presentación de lo que hicieron en sus votaciones anteriores. Ok, no importa si fueron las de agosto, las de la Semana Santa, pero oh. queremos que nos cuenten qué es lo que hicieron. Ok. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Carla, I hope that you can solve it now. Voy a pasar lista. Ana Graciela. Here I am, teacher. Anderson. Armando Antonio. Present teacher. Ok, Armando Antonio. Uh, Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Cecia Gemina, Diana Patricia, Present teacher. Elmer Alexander, Elsa Noelia, Present. Floricia, Ingrid, Present. Ingrid Esmeralda, Present. Okay, Ingrid. Present. Jaime Iván, Karina Yamilet, Carla Gabriela, Kenny, Present teacher. Ok, María Imelda, Present teacher. María Wendy, Present teacher. Marisol de Los Ángeles, Present teacher. Nelson, Present teacher. Rommel, Present teacher. Ronald, y Wilfredo. Ronald. Present teacher. Okay, Ronald, is Ronald here? Uh, no, 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 that's Carla, right? Carla Gabriela, give me a second, Carla Gabriela. Yes, teacher. Okay, Carla Gabriela is present. Good. So, Karina Yamilet, Carlos Aníbal, and Ronald Alexander. Well, I think we're going to start by here. Oh, we're, we're gonna, let's see, we're gonna try to finish it. Now, ¿cómo estuvo la sesión de esta noche? 
siempre como que los dejo con un reto, ¿no? Ayer los dejé con el reto de la de la película. Ok, es, este, algunos pues se animaron y no se lo contaron. Algunos a lo mejor lo hicieron, pero todavía no se animaron a contarnos. ¿no? Pero mañana van a tener la oportunidad, ¿ok? Pueden sorprendernos con contarnos lo del ejercicio de la película, ¿ok? Todavía está vigente porque si ustedes se dieron cuenta, hay mucho verbo ahí que aprender y aparte de eso, pues hay una secuencia de un video de una película que podemos aprender a cómo describir, ¿ok? Bien, le me sí. Cecia eh, Gemina, yes. Gimiese con Cecia. Don't worry, Cecia. Ok, I'm sorry. So, eso es lo primero, ¿no? Y lo otro es que el día de mañana, pues que nos cuenten ¿Cómo estuvo sus vacaciones? ¿Cómo estuvieron sus vacaciones? Este año, pues, hemos tenido diferentes momentos en donde hemos descansado, hemos tenido vacaciones. Y es bueno que nos cuenten, ¿no? ¿Qué es lo que hicieron? ¿Qué es lo que no hicieron? ¿Ok? Que se cuestionen por qué, digamos, bueno, ¿por qué decidí quedarme en casa y no ir a la playa, por ejemplo? Entonces, ahí en, en su presentación, se puede cuestionar y de ahí como proveer, proveer más información de tal modo que utilicemos todo lo que hemos venido estudiando. Recuerden, se pronunciación de verbos regulares, eh, aprendizaje de verbos irregulares, cómo hacer estructuras positivas, negativas y de pregunta. Cecia, don't worry, Cecia. No se preocupe, Cecia, ya lo hice. Now, any question, people? Preguntas? No? No, teacher. Ok, so we're going to stay here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Ok, and be ready. Prepárense, ok? See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Teacher. Goodbye. Aguanta un buen par, una buena parte, ¿eh?